everyone. I'm Deanna from Coquitlam Public Library. Welcome to Storytime at Home. Pete the Cat is in the house today, and we have a very special story based on the book by Eric Litwin called Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. Well, we better put up some buttons because there aren't any right now, so you can help me with the colors. What color is this button? Yes, it is blue. And what color is this button? It is. It's red. And what color is this button? It's green. And one more. What color is that button? It's kind of hard to tell. It is purple. All right. And in this story, you can help. Whenever I say, did Pete cry? You would respond, goodness no. Let's practice. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Also, we are going to chant each time, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Let's try that together. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. The number will change each time and we will chant the new number. All right. One day, Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with the four groovy round buttons. He loved his shirt and buttons so much that he walked down the street singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Uh-oh! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. <gasps> How many buttons are left? Three. Four take away one is three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on walking. Ready? My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. <gasps> How many buttons are left? Two. Three take away one is two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on walking. Ready? My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. All of a sudden. Another button popped off and rolled away. <gasps> How many buttons are left? One. Two take away one is one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on walking. Ready? It's one. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. All of a sudden, pop! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? None. One take away one is zero or none. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete the cat looked down at his buttonless shirt and noticed something. His belly button. He walked down the street singing this song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness no, we keep on singing. And that's the story of Pete the Cat, a very groovy cat and his four buttons. And there's his fifth. And now we're gonna do a song about a dog. And I wonder if you can help with the letters. Can you tell me what this letter is? That's B. And this letter? I. And this one? N. And this letter here, G, 
And what about the last one? Oh, and that spells bingo. And so we are going to sing a song about a farmer who had a dog named Bingo. And we're going to take a letter away each time we sing a verse. And we're going to clap for the missing letter. So follow me. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. And Bingo was his name. Oh, goodbye, B. That's going to be one clap, I-N-G-O. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name, oh. Goodbye, I. That's two claps, N-G-O. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, goodbye, N. Now we have three claps, G-O. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, goodbye, G. Four claps and an O. Ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, last letter. Goodbye, O. Oh. So that's one, two, three, four, five claps. No letters. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. And bingo was his name, oh. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Storytime at Home. For a large selection of picture books, go to the Coquitlam Library webpage where you can click on Tumble Books. See you next time. Bye.